Open the project file for the song you are sending to mix. Make sure you're viewing the tracks window. This is the default window in Digital Performer. Be sure to render any tracks with effects that you want to apply for mix. First, select the entire region that you want to bounce with your cursor. Be sure to start highlighting from measure one. This ensures a contiguous audio file is rendered. Then go to Audio, Bounce to Disk. The file format should be set to Sound Designer 2 Interleaved. Under Import, make sure you've selected Add to Sequence. Under Channels, select Same as Source. Verify that the track you are exporting is being saved to the audio file folder within your project file folder. Repeat this process for any additional audio tracks that you want to bounce with effects. Bouncing MIDI virtual instruments is achieved similarly. To bounce a MIDI file that is assigned to a virtual instrument, highlight the region of MIDI you want to bounce. Be sure to start highlighting from measure one. This ensures a contiguous audio file is rendered. Make sure the virtual instrument track is also selected. Go to Audio, Free Selected Tracks. The MIDI information that's been bounced to audio will show up in a new track with the same name as your virtual instrument, but with the word Freeze after it. Now we'll bounce all files from the beginning of the project. Before bouncing, confirm all crossfades are free of clicks and pops. Select all the files in your project. Make sure the transport counter is set to zero. In Digital Performer, the default key command is the number one on the numeric keypad. Deselect any tracks you don't need by holding down command and control, then clicking on them. Go to Audio, Merge Sound Bites. Press Shift B to go to the Sound Bites window. Then select View by Time Created. Scroll to the bottom and select all recently merged tracks. Then, click the delta symbol in the upper right-hand corner of your Soundbytes window and go to Export Selected Soundbytes. Within your project file folder, create a new folder. Title that folder with the name of the song and its beats per minute value. Under File Format, select Broadcast Wave Interleaved. Click Choose. Now quit Digital Performer. When prompted, choose Don't Save Changes. If prompted with the message, do you want to delete the audio files created since you last saved, choose Don't Delete. This will ensure that the new files you created during the bounce will remain in the project's audio folder. To ensure that everything has been properly consolidated, we suggest creating a new project file, importing the files from the folder you just made, and verifying that the tracks are properly synced and all content for mix is accounted for. Now make a zip archive of the folder. To do so, hold Control, click on the folder, then choose Compress. This is the file you'll upload to Matchless Mix.